Thank you for watching this video on the steps to create a division or a disregarded entity's 1120 consolidated tax return. We'll first cover the required entries to produce a consolidated 1120 return from divisions or disregarded entities that would not file Form 851. We'll then learn how to include the consolidated division or disregarded entity's tax return into an actual consolidated tax return that will file Form 851 Affiliation Schedule. Create each separate return and from the category bar choose General and Basic Data. In the General section for each separate return move down to the bottom of that section and for the code for consolidated return for each separate return select division slash disregarded entity. Also check the box return may be included in a consolidated return. Next create the consolidation and once again go to the category bar selecting general then the basic data worksheet and again in the general section in the consolidation go down to the code for consolidated return and also for the consolidation choose division slash disregarded entity. Also check the box return may be included in a consolidated return. Next in the consolidation go to the category bar select consolidated and the membership information worksheet. For company number one enter in the name of the consolidation. Do not put in an EIN nor put in a client ID. The division or disregarded entity required to file a federal tax return must be company number two. Place your cursor for company number two on the client ID field, right click and choose lookup value. Scan down through the returns to find that return. Next, move down to each company and right click again and go to lookup value to find each and every division or disregarded entity. After completing the membership information, Prosystem FX Tax allows you from the consolidated return to view the consolidated tree using the return group button down in the lower left hand corner of the navigation panel. By clicking that on, you can see all of your included companies and double clicking on each one to enter in and move to those separate company returns. You can also go to Calc on the menu bar and batch Calc all these returns with the option Return Group. To include a consolidated division or disregarded entity into an actual consolidation filing form 851, open that consolidation and go to the category bar selecting consolidated and then the membership information worksheet. You can include a consolidated division or disregarded entity into a real consolidation as either company number two the parent or any other company. In this situation, I've included our consolidation as company number four by right clicking on the client ID and choosing lookup value to find that return to insert it. Adding the consolidated division or disregarded entity to the actual consolidation's membership information includes those returns into the return group. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found it helpful. For additional training, resources, please click the link below and visit our training and consulting webpage. Thanks again and have a great day.